What's up YouTube, tutorial, uh, Photoshop, CS4 and today I'm going to be showing you um, kind of colour toning on a face and how to bring a sharper image out of a, this is a high res image but you can do it on lower res images as well obviously works better on high res images um, bringing a metallic black and white look out of an image as you can see here you can simply just go and put it to grayscale but it just doesn't give the image a metallic look I'm going to show you that today on the uh, on the main picture layer, right click on the words on the layer one, and then do duplicate. So you got two of the layers. Now change the blending mode from the little drop down uh, arrow to overlay, and you should get something like this. Next, go up to filter, go to other, and go to high pass. Okay. Now set it radius at 7.4, as you can see in the little um, high pass. Uh, little preview it's sharpening the image um, the main image quite a bit so then do OK so now we've done this what we do next is go into layer new adjustment layer and all the way down to gradient map OK click that then call it yeah gradient map that will do OK so now we've got the black and white tone we click into the main image or the main gradient and it brings out this editor okay so click on the black and use your um, your scroll and scroll down to bring it in okay so what we're going to do is bring it in quite a bit but we're going to click on the white as well and then scroll that the other way to bring that one in okay so I'm thinking something like that, like that. also you can change the slider that's in the middle as well. Okay. So something like that, okay? Maybe you can, you, if you want, to bring the black in a little more, but something like so, as you can see from the preset. So bring that in a little, and the same to that, and then you can change the the middle part as well. Uh, click OK to that. So you go, that's pretty metallic as we can see now. Okay, so if we get out of gradient map, go back to our layers. Now, if we copy the main layer again, the first layer, duplicate that, bring that up to the top. Now, we're going to set this to overlay again. Okay, and now we're going to go to um, it's image no layer even uh, or filter no it's filter, filter filter other high pass okay and now we're going to change the pass again a little bit lighter this time only probably about two yeah two percent two point one okay and set it to two point one now we're getting a crisp very metallic looking um, picture as you can see and it's quite good it's blacked out the other part of the area so uh, now what we do is go into uh, layer new fill layer and make a solid color okay call it okay now drag to orange a sepia tone is roughly around here like a goldy uh, orange so drag around there to find something like a sepia tone now as you can see the fill color you've got to go into your blending modes change this to color right at the bottom and you can see but it's a bit too bright so what we're going to do is turn this all the way to zero the opacity and just raise it up a little and there we go I think something like 20 odd percent it just gives a little hint of that color onto uh, the face and there we go there's a very quick tutorial um, I will show you the difference okay that put that right at the top okay so that's the image we started with that's the image we finished off looks a lot menacing and looks a very nice and it's very crisp it hasn't lost pixelation in fact it's probably got more clarity from doing this and in this tutorial you're probably using um, some things that you never used before maybe adjustment layer maps like gradient map and obviously high pass which was used a lot something that you probably may never have used uh, in Photoshop very nice effect it, it creates 
you can see from these two. Okay, more tutorials coming soon. Um, if you like my video, please subscribe. There'll be plenty more. And if you've got any comments, I will get back to you. Okay, see you next time.